afternoon and welcome to the 2016 Wright Street Festival Parade. I'm Kathleen Spihar. I'm Julie Folan. And we're here as your host to today's beautiful parade, the most awesome parade in St. Paul. It's true, it's true. So, It's a beautiful day, partly sunny, partly cloudy, just a little bit breezy. We've got a great crowd gathering. It stretches for several blocks. This parade has 62 units in it, I believe, Kathleen? Yep, that's correct, 62. So there's going to be a little bit for everyone. Absolutely. What a great way to end July, this parade on July 31st. Perfect day for it. It is. It is an absolutely gorgeous day. We can hear the uh, police sirens and fire trucks that start the parade. It's They're really coming exciting. They should be with us shortly. Yep. I hope you all are down here. If you can't be down here, we certainly hope you enjoy the broadcast. We've got people lining the streets. They're here in there. They brought out their lawn chairs. We've got kids, families lining the streets. We've got kids all dressed up in. We've in got a garage sale. Absolutely, we have, absolutely. All the way from kids playing to a garage sale, you're gonna find it here. We've got folks that brought out their pets. Uh, we've got lots of families here. This is just, it really looks like a terrific crowd. It does. We've got a nice food truck, some food trucks set up. And we're going to have, of course, the big fire engines coming down, which is always a big hit with the kids. So, I so. think they just love that. Yep, and this is one of the things I love about St. Paul is the amount of parades and, you know, and celebration that happens in the summertime. And I'm so, hey, hey ladies. Um, so I'm so <laughs> glad that, uh, that uh, uh, we do this in, in St. Paul that you know every weekend there's something to do, some a special way to celebrate our neighborhoods. And I think that lots of folks that we were see, kind of seeing coming out from the neighborhood to be here on this, uh, this wonderful day. I think you're exactly right. We're really quite blessed. I mean, the Twin Cities as a whole does a good job with festivals, but I think St. Paul does an extra awesome job. Excellent, absolutely. And I live in St. Paul. Do you I live in St. Paul. Yep, and so we're also All known. the cool people live in St. Paul. That's right. Let's just make that Very clear. cool people live here. So You have to be cool to live in St. Paul. I'm also, sorry. Also understand that we, we are, we're good friends, and so sometimes, yeah. This will be Jules, and sometimes I will be Cat, so sometimes you'll hear about Ju Jules and Cat. Or, sure. Okay, we can go with that. <laughs> we can go All with right. that, yeah. Right. There are other names we call each other once in a while, but that's okay. <laughs> we'll stick with Jules and Cat. Yep, so back to the parade. Indeed. So. You can hear the fire truck. And the American Legion Color Guard is leading the way. Fantastic. In just a few minutes, we'll be seeing them. We have a motorcycle police officer coming first, waving at all the kids. Oh, here we have two oh, of they're them. They're waving? Yep. Oh, fantastic. We really do have a great police department here. Absolutely. Friendly, very Hi, community conscious. Thanks for being here. Thanks, you too. <laughs> keeping our neighborhood safe, and also be very caring about our community and what's going they on. Are. They are. I love that they come out to a lot of the um, neighborhood celebrations. Mm -hmm. Good representation. Yep, District 10 has a safety um, session that they come out to a lot, and that is just awesome. And we see the representation of the police, too. We just saw the motorcade, and now we've got a mm -hmm. police car, and then um, coming up, we've got some, some uh, officers on cyclists. So. And here we come with the American Legion. <laughs> We've got the flags. Colors. The, yep, the colors, the, the United States flag and the American Legion's flag. And we are not. Thank you for being here. Thank American you for Legion your service. 474. And the 4th District American and Legion's family. And now we family. have some motorcycles. Yep, we've got police officers and, and bikes. And we've got bike cops. Right. Yay! All decked out in their helmets. Hey there. How you doing? And of course the favorite. Ladder Company 22. That's one loud horn. It is. You hear that? You get out of the way. Yeah. It's great because uh, we've got... And don't forget. 
there's a calendar. St. Paul Firefighters Calendar. You can find them on Facebook. Exactly. Fundraising so for a good charity. Oh, there are beautiful firefighters on that calendar. They are handsome, they are fit. Oh my. And if you go on Facebook and you look them up, that St. Paul Firefighters Calendar, you will just be buying that calendar for your girlfriends like crazy. Your grandmother will like this calendar very, very much. I think those, uh, the police officers, or the, the firefighters, they're, uh, they're featured in different uh, parts of St. Paul too, around the city, isn't it? Um, well, it's a volunteer. And uh, so yes, depending on where they're from, they have a little bio on the, on the firefighters that are in there. And um, let's just put it this way, our firefighters can beat other cities' firefighters, hands down. <laughs> I don't know, you know, we have, we've been seeing the police challenges mm -hmm. with the dancing and everything on Facebook and on YouTube and stuff like that. Well, when it comes to calendars, there's no contest. I'm prejudiced. I've been buying them since they started. And it's just the fire department. It's not the police department that does this. It's just the fire department. Oh, my goodness. Okay. It's hmm. tradition. Dun, da, dun. Now, how long have you been buying a St. Paul fire department? Um, well, I actually, I, I misspoke. I probably started the second year. So I've been buying them for about four years now, I that's, think. That's a good record. Yeah. So 2017 is going to be for sale starting shortly. There'll be a kickoff party. Uh, again, jump on the Facebook and take a look and there'll be all kinds of information and usually they're on some of the morning shows as well, doing an advertisement. So I think... I think they have events around town too because you took me to a Oh, they before. do. Yes, they have calendar signings which are great wow, fun to was. go to. Calendar signings. And if I remember correctly, this year the money that is raised from the calendar is going to um, uh, service dogs. Fantastic. Yeah, I appreciate the charitable work that both the, the fire it's department. It's fun. It's fun. And the the guys do. take it for our community. Uh, they fantastic. have a lot of fun. Their wives and girlfriends are really good sports about it too, and I appreciate that as well. So it does make it a little awkward when you run into them in the grocery store, though. I'm just saying, <laughs> you know. And here we have the St. Paul Police Band. Very good made up of officers and volunteers. Exactly. The band does perform several concerts in St. Paul metropolitan area. They also march re regularly in many regional festival parades, just like today's Rice Street Parade. And you can, if you enjoy making music, call up the band and join. on Rice Street. He's lived here for 62 years. He's volunteered for many men's clubs. He's coached baseball. He's been an officer in the North End and Como area hockey for many years. And, and we also have Jet Senator John Marty. Hi, John. Come say hi to us. One of Julie's. How are you? Isn't this great? It's a wonderful crowd. It's beautiful weather. Were you out in Philadelphia? No, I didn't go out there, but glad to be here today. Awesome. Uh, Indeed. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye bye. Thanks. Fantastic. So the North End Improvement Club just went by. Ooh. They contribute to many organizations old timer softball, block nurse programs. And here come the princesses. Oh, look at how beautiful they are. Oh, they look lovely. All dressed in silver. Beautiful Beautiful princesses. crowns and gorgeous princesses. white roses. Thank you for being here, ladies. And here we have queen candidates for the Rice Street Festival, Maureen Oring, and she's sponsored by Tin Cups. Lovely dresses. Those the lovely dresses. Girls and some gorgeous. more lovely ladies. Hey, ladies. Jen Effering 
and she's sponsored by Kemp's Food Market. Oh, sorry, Kemp's Food Market. And Maddie Smith, sponsored by Rice Street Family Dental. I love it when the ladies dress up. They look so good. And who do we have here? We have Amy Bender Brendeman coming. Uh, but right now we have a vendor. <laughs> right now we have Amy Brendeman, City Council. Amy. And there's Brenda Moen. Brenda Moen. Amy Brenda Moen, hey, City Amy, Council. Hi. Amy. Amy's on the bike there, riding in front of us. Hi, Amy. Hi. How are you? Good, good. Are you having a good time? It's totally great. Well, thanks for stopping and visiting. Thanks, Amy. Fantastic. I love this truck. And we have little people. Oh, Give this must be the rec center's uh, uh, cheer uh, extreme. Yes. Cheerleaders, right. yeah. Look at those flips. Cheer mom. Flips and those cartwheels. Here we go, there we go. Com and all the stunts that. Competition cheer yep. stunts. Those are awfully fun to watch. I tried it for cheerleading once. Did you? Yeah, I couldn't even do a cartwheel. <laughs> so well, I was better at organizing the team than I was at doing I can imagine stunts. that. <laughs> I certainly had the voice for it, but not the figure. Hey, Tinkup. And so here's we need to go prince. here after the parade. That's right, to Tinkup. Prince princesses. princesses. Lovely. That's right. And they're from the North End area. Absolutely. So make sure that you stop by Dars today because they're open from 12 to 10 p.m. They have ice cream, pizza, Italian ice, hot dogs, and so much more. I hear that they have some fabulous chocolate ice cream. Mm -hmm. Zanzibar chocolate. Mm-mm, good. I would like an ice cream cone right now, but I think, so. I think it would probably melt in 30 Between seconds or less. Stars and Tin Cup, you know, because Tin Cup also was just tin went by as part of the parade. Tin Cup is really cool. Absolutely, like they, and they're celebrating their fi fifth anniversary. Um, they became very famous for their man versus food with their amazing Juicy Lucy's. <gasps> Juicy Lucy's, yep, and they awesome. And both of these businesses sponsor princesses and that's princes really awesome. That is another thing that I really like about Saint Paul. I do Paul. too. This about the small businesses and how they invest in this community is just really impressive. And Rice Street is so vibrant with all the small, small owned businesses, small owner businesses. They are just awesome. It's, really it's been looking very spiffy too. I've been driving up and down Rice Street here recently mm -hmm. because of some of the construction that's been going on. And there are so many stores that I, if I'm not on a tight schedule, I just try and stop and go in and just go exploring because there are just some great stores along here. Have you been to Dar's or to Tin Cup yet? No, but we're oh, doing that your wish list. After, Well, it's right you behind us. Rice. We're going to be having that as a we should make a treat. Absolutely, we should make a Rice Street wish list. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. So we've got... Uh, oh, speaking of ice cream. <laughs> yes, we've got some princesses and a truck here with the gorgeous We cone. have this lovely truck coming. Let's see what we've got coming that here. has a giant ice cream cone and some see. fabulous looking people. This and by golly, this is sponsored princess. by Dars. That's right. It's because it's Princess Day in St. Paul. Dars double scoop. Woo! Hey, Dars. princesses! Aren't they beautiful? <laughs> Hi guys, are you having fun? Awesome. Oh my goodness. Oh, and okay. it looks they? like there's candy oh. going to be thrown. We talked Watch about Watch these kids come That's out. Right. Oh, they're freezy sticks. Yeah, they awesome. are. Awesome. Oh, there are gonna be some cool kids now. Yeah, some of the best things to toss out in the parade. They're they getting are. freezies. They're getting those freezies. So we've got candy and freezies. Candies and freezies. How it's like awesome kid, is it's that? It's kids heaven right now. Did you go get one? 
Every child on Rice Street should be coming out right now. Oh, Yay! thank you so much. We just got some <laughs> gifts. We have some freezies we to got give. Freezies. I might just hold on right. mine. That feels pretty good. Oh, man. I'm kidding. We've got oh, lime this is and good. cherry I'm and watermelon. Whew. I have to plead ignorance here. I'm not sure that I know who these gentlemen in the Pioneer shirts are. <laughs> We've got the kids. We've got the cheers going them. on here. Yep, right exactly. Got so them going on. Mm -hmm. So you you do a cheer, and then you get a freezy. Right? I like it. I like it. <laughs> Come here. That's terrific. Hi. Who are you guys? St. Paul Pioneers. And what is the St. Paul Pioneers? Our team out of uh, uh, playing Concordia College. Awesome! Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma when is your uh, season? Us, uh, we have um, playoffs this, next, this Saturday coming up. At We're going Concordia. to get some North Bank Yes, ma'am. Awesome. Well, good luck on that. Thank you, ma'am. Thanks for stopping. Well, learn something new. Vikings are okay, but we got pioneers. Hey, nothing like the pioneers. We got pioneers. That's right. <laughs> Oh, oh thank, thank you. you so much. <laughs> a pioneer wannabe. Pioneer wannabe. That's right. And here That's we right. have coming the Prince of the North Wind. Oh That's my right. goodness. Loaded. Loaded. With they are all huge kinds supporters of the Rice Street Royalty. Rice Street Royalty. Are or have been and business owners beads. in the North End. You wondered if there would be beads. Thanks so much, The Titan. girls got beads. And we've also got the District and 6 District Planning Six Council. District 6 Planning Council is represented, and they've got candy buckets that they're giving out. Absolutely. They do a lot for the communities. They make neighborhoods in the city whole. They contribute to sustainable places to live, learn, work, and play. They're the connectors between the citizens of the community Friends and the community. Of the North End, yay! And now we have Titan football. Go Titans! Go Titans! Go Titans! Awesome! These kids got some spirit going here. Absolutely. This is North Arena Titans football. Well, that's one thing you can say about St. Paul as well. We are a pretty sports-minded community. Absolutely. Holy And moly. sports and community. I think that those two things really go hand in hand. They really do. It's great to see kids in the neighborhoods that also play together on the same teams, yep. how they can get to know each other. Well, I think that's really how you build community, don't you? Or Absolutely. one of the good ways of doing it? Mm -hmm. Get those kids out there, get them active, get them involved, and get Absolutely. them passionate. Yep, and it's great that District 6 gets involved in this. Yeah, sure Titans! that this happens. North Area Titans! And Red Sox! Baseball team. Fantastic. And now we have State Representative John Lash coming down. Absolutely. He's in his he represents he, House District 66B. And he's in a Jeep, so I don't think we're going to be able to get a word with him, but great to see him in the neighborhood. Love to see him out here. Oh, do you want to talk? Here we go. We'll get to. We'll, John will pop down for a second. Did John hop down. Come oh, on fantastic! Over here, John. Hey, John. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, thank you. Isn't this a wonderful parade? It's a beautiful day for a parade, even with a different time. We got great turnout, and it's hot. I just hope people are wearing sunscreen. We hope. Yeah. We hope. Yeah. Thanks for stopping thanks by, thanks John. Thanks for having us. It's a great day. And John Lesh, state representative. Absolutely. And we have Royal Credit Union. So they've grown this is to 100 the members crew. in our community. Blue Crew for a cause. Let's see if we can get somebody over here to chat with us for a second. The Royal Credit Union is a not-for-profit financial service 
So that means that the earnings are returned to members in the forms of lower loan rates and high interest. Wow. Oh, they got fees. a good-looking fish up there. Yep. They also the kids' club mascot is Saving Sammy. So I think that maybe that's what we're seeing here is our Saving Sammy. So they also this is a, a credit union that's really interested in youth education and the betterment of our community. Oh, here we've got some music coming. Yeah, we've got what some tunes coming up here. Is. Uh -huh. They've got a lively float and of course princesses. They're being pulled by a lovely white Silverado from Merritt Chevrolet. That's right. And these girls know how to dance. Absolutely. Woodbury Bay, August 26th to the 28th. Oh, that's right. So if there's nothing going on in St. Paul, it's proper, you can head down to Woodbury. You go, girl! Some dancing gals. That's right. Awesome. They've awesome. got some good moves going on there. And Fantastic. That was uh, we've great. got Head Start, Don't one of my favorite programs. Don't you love having music at a parade? Sorry, I just keep interrupting you. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking on top of each other. Well, it is a little, I will say it's a little hard. We're good. We're good. Yep. We've got a nice loud parade. It's because today. both of us like to talk. That's what's happening. Well, that's so true. We've got Head Start okay. here. Yay this is for like Head said, Start! One of my, right, one Woo! of my favorite community programs. And the Bhutanese Community Organization. That's right. Looks like their mission is to serve Bhutanese refugees. Awesome so that they beca can become good pillars of uh, their new communities here in America. We are really blessed in St. Paul with the number of ethnic communities that we have represented, old and new. Mm -hmm. I mean, anybody who's lived in St. Paul for any period of time knows that we have a vibrant Polish, Irish, German communities, Scandinavian communities, and of course, Bhutanese and Hmong and Karen. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> the gent so here in the car happy. that's waving is so wonderful. By the way, I just discovered a new Thai restaurant. Did you? It's down north on, on um, Rice Street. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I think that, um, as you pointed out, it's really great that we just continue to build our community. Our, we're a community of, of uh, immigrants, and we just continue to, to build on that. Well, heck, we're the country of immigrants. Absolutely. My grandparents came in 1892 and settled Fantastic. in a little town called Buckman. Everybody spoke German. So you wonder if Janice, Janice had the same experience. Janice, she's driving her own truck. That's right. Hey, Janice. District 3, Ramsey County Commissioner Janice. Hi. You can come and talk to us if you want. Okay. okay. So See you later, girl. We'll catch her. Okay, we'll catch her later. Janice, Ramsey County Commissioner for District 3. She has been a lifelong supporter of the community and very active in all kinds of Jules, what do we have coming up next? We have South St. Paul, and this is Cap Capoja Days. What are Capoja Days, Jules? I have no idea. Let me just check here and see. It's an annual festival that lasts a full weekend in June every year. It celebrated its 41st anniversary and on June 25th, New Capoja Days royalty ambassadors were crowned. They'll be having their 2017 from July 23rd to, I'm sorry, from June 23rd to June 25th. So mark your calendars now. Exactly. For 2017. I'm sure that there is a festival calendar someplace. Yeah, there should be. Maybe there should be a Facebook one that just everybody in St. Paul can mark their calendars on. I'll have to look into that. Okay, now I'm sure somebody's going to go, but we already do that, Julie. Oh, Humane Society. The My Humane Society is coming up, aren't they? They kind of reach out all, all over the place. Love the Humane Society. I've adopted all of my pets from the Humane Society here in St. Paul. They've been rescue those wonderful those animals. Puppies. That's right, and kitties. Rescue those kitties, iguanas. Doggy oh, in the car. Look at the, co the dog. Oh, so sweet, a little Labrador. It's a little warm for that doggy in the car. It's a good thing so, he's got his window open. That's Remember, right. Remember, 
Don't leave your pets in the car on hot, hot days. Always make That's sure they have water. Well, even then, it's still, it's too risky. Leave your pet at home and the air conditioning. So we can And here Ace we have Ace Auto, Auto Parts. Parts. Hey, folks from Ace. And of course, they located. are Great Street. That's right. And look at that great mm -hmm. truck that's up there, a Sierra. Since 1929, and some Ace really cute kids and Ace. people distributing, gosh, surprise candy. That's right. And oh, now so we, we got have New Brighton. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, look Ooh, at this sparkly this the sparkly New Brighton Stockyard Days. Stockyard Days. Yep. This so is something about honoring the past. This is an award-winning float. And it so, deserves it. Yep. Look and how carries, gorgeous is that. Yep, carries the Stockyard Day themes. And they, in 1991, the New Brighton celebration was combined with a famous antique car run from New London to New Brighton. So we hope to, that you join us for our New Brighton Stockyard Day celebration, August 7th through 15, 2016. There's another thing to mark on your calendar. And next up, we have St. Bernard's Catholic Church on Rice Street and Ger Geranium. Sorry, Bernard. St. Bernard's. I apologize. <laughs> I apologize. It is St. Bernard's. St. Bernard's, yep. And I should know that because my cousins, the Kleins, all it's went there. It's a German parish. German parish. They've been around for over 100 years. It had a high school, great school, wonderful, mm -hmm. beautiful church. Mm -hmm. And I believe we have Boy Scouts from St. Bernard's. Through. Absolutely. Passing out candy. That's great. Are you guys having fun at the parade? Yeah. Kind of. It's a little hot, maybe. <laughs> Oh, we're getting this some is candy. Pup Thanks so much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Pup Scout Pack 66. Saint oh. Sponsored by St. Bernard's Men's Club. Fantastic. And now we have Betty McCollum's. Yep. Group. And we also have Rena Moran. So Betty and Marina supporters. Oh, there we That's go. That's fantastic. So the primaries are coming up on August 9th, so make sure you get out and vote. Exactly. Hey, Rena, how are you? Every vote counts. That's right. I'm so excited to vote. I'm pretty excited to vote too. In fact, I'm going to be an election judge. I have to get my send in my passport because you have fantastic. To have. Oh, so and we get the we St. Have Paul St. Uh, Paul City School. City School, yep. So they're a multicultural learning community, passionately committed to total development of every child. They're a free charter public school. They offer free busing anywhere in St. Paul. Guaranteed small class free sizes. Busing. Yep. Respect nice. and appreciation for diversity, free breakfast and lunch programs, special education, and ELL services. Fantastic. Oh, look at uh, what else we have here. We've got CRI. Custom Remodelers. So they are family-owned business. Keith Hardy and its siding, windows, roofs, and gutters for all your household needs. Get your house looking spiffy. And here's Keith Hardy. Hey, Keith coming Hardy. Down the, coming down the path here. He's yep. seeking a return to the St. Paul Board of Education in a special election this November 8th. Again, another reason to get out the vote. Absolutely, August 9th. He believes that the school board needs a stronger voice for racial equity and racial justice for students and employees. Up there. There we yes. go. Hey. And we have hey some folks. more Betty McCollum supporters coming down the path. Terrific. And we've got here Open Cities Health Center North End Clinic. Awesome. Oh, they've returned to Rice Street. They were they oh, were awesome. here for three years and now they're back. So Let's welcome back. To North Clinic. Yeah. Awesome. Yep, they have, med they have medical, dental, optical, behavioral health appointments are available and they're located on Dunlap Street. They also have a sliding fee scale for patients That's who can't so afford the important. traditional insurance. All Absolutely, all about access. That's fantastic that they decided to come back. I think so too. You know, that's one thing that the St. Paul is really good about as well. Boy, I feel like I, I should be advertising for St. Paul. I guess I am. <laughs> Medical, health care, yeah. all of that good stuff Absolutely. going on here. You've got tons of it. Well, one of the things about you, you live in, you, you know, you've got your neighborhood in Como, and I'm in the, mid, the Midway area, and then we've got, we're in the Rice Street area right now, and sometimes, you know, it's easy just to know what's going on around our neighborhoods, but not so much 
understand what's going on around other neighborhoods that we can really take advantage of because, you know, well, either we live in St. Paul, it's just access for anyone that lives in Minnesota. Well, one of the things I've always maintained, I grew up in Little Falls, so central part of the state, and one of the things that I've maintained always is that the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, St. Paul, are really just small towns that got big. So I think for many of us, our neighborhood is our small town. And mm. it's so nice when your neighborhood has got all the services you need, a health care, an undertaker, a uh, great ice cream shop like Dars, right. mm -hmm. uh, car Absolutely. shops. All services like, like that Open yeah, Cities Health Center. You can stay and be local. You can walk to the shoe repair guy. Mm -hmm. You can go t out to dinner and meet all your neighbors. I think that's just a lovely, lovely aspect of, of the Twin Cities as a whole, and St. Yeah. Paul in particular. It's fantastic. Well, well, that's one of the great things about these parades, too, is because when you attend these, pr these parades, you also see what's going on in other neighborhoods that might spark your interest, or maybe you know somebody else that you can recommend that business to. Exactly. Uh, or that service to, and I think that that's really important. I do too. You know, I think there's a big push on for keeping things local. And what better way to be part of your community than shop and take advantage of local services? Absolutely. And, of course, a great way to find out about those services and the businesses is to attend one of these lovely parades. Absolutely. And speaking of the parade, look at who we've got coming up. <gasps> the Mung Family Foundation, the Miss Mung Pageant. Fantastic. It's a royalty group whose fiscal agency is Laos Family Community Incorporated of Minnesota. It looks like they are uh, the current title holders of Miss Mung Minnesota, Jessica and Kalu, uh, are here in the parade. Oh, and look at all these beautiful dresses that these could. In fact, there are so many the princesses. Mung. Yeah, you have to. You have to be here to see the beauty of these dresses. They are and absolutely the different stunning. patterns that you, we see here as part of their dresses on. are Mung just lovely. Is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So, Look and you know the Hmong beautiful. New Year uh, celebration is held at the St. Paul River Center every year. Mm -hmm. And so these are all the the dancing royalty that were crowned. <laughs> How wonderful is this? Absolutely. We have a prince among princesses. And we have a senior princess, I believe, as well. We do. We do. Oh. Beautiful. Now there is a lovely Hmong uh, uh, farmer's market. There's a couple of them. One is off of Como and one We're gonna is give off a of University. A little, little shout out here license. for the Community School of Community Excellence School also, of which is Excellence. the K-8 Hmong Language and Culture World School, which is here in St. Paul. Yep, and I have a, the Hmong High School is right behind the Hmong Preparatory School, 12 to, uh, kindergarten to 12. We've got some beautiful dancers here with lovely streamers. Oh. And, and those head, you have those oh, hair pieces, so sparkly and Look at all of these, <laughs> all of these flips and cartwheels. That is not easy to do. This street yeah. is pretty hot. Woo! I Look love streamer dances. Fly. Yep. We've got boys and girls both dancing, which is really oh, fantastic lovely, to see. Lovely, lovely, lovely. That's wonderful. And yep, so we have coming up here too, we've got the St. Paul Public Library Bookmobile. They make over 40 stops every two weeks throughout all these different St. Paul neighborhoods. Have you had the, the bookmobile in your neighborhood yet? I have not. I haven't seen it yet, so we'll have to keep an eye out for the bookmobile exactly. coming through. I, exactly. It's just. It is. It's a beautiful job. Absolutely. Look at, look at the too. beautiful new graphics on that. Great graphics. Yeah. On that it's such a great idea. Mm -hmm. It's just like a regular branch library. You can borrow library items, you can reserve titles. So, and the bookmobile is sponsored by Health very Partners. Very nice, very nice. Access to the library, I love mm -hmm. that. I love the fantastic <laughs> car that's coming up here with the, <laughs> the lovely ladies waving North of the female. defeat of Jesse James Day ambassadors. Yay! Here they are! Jesse James Day! That's right. 
What a great car. JC James Day includes a rodeo to art and crafts fair car show, carnival, soapbox, derby, and parade. Uh, that sounds just like a terrific time. And it's usually over the weekend after Labor Day. Awesome. Just when we need to have a little fun. Oh, we've got some junior princesses over here, too. Here's some to add to our princess day here in St. Paul. Yes, everybody's a princess today in St. Paul. That's Saint right. Paul. But these girls are lovely with their crowns. And they got their waist down perfectly. Very cool. Fantastic. Now, coming up, we have Metropolitan State University. Yep. Terrific. Terrific university. If you're looking for your two de your degree, check them out. They also have a very fantastic theater there, and they run a wonderful a film campus. series. Yep, with the, the St. Paul Public Library. So, check them out. Yeah, in fact, that's what I, the last time I was at Metropolitan State University, I was there for one of their films. Um, like through the St. Paul Public Library right of collaboration. Okay. So it was really, really wonderful. Restoration counseling. Mm -hmm. Yep. Eight and community services. Absolutely. They treat behavioral and substance abuse uh, treatment. That's what they offer there. Um, their core values consist of accountability, program integrity, respect, belief in human resilience, and client. they're client focused. They look at treating the whole person when they're servicing their clients. They want to build a healthy, pro-social family relationships that sets a, sound, a, a strong foundation for their clients, their families, and our community itself. So, Helping our clients make positive life changes is absolutely. their motto. What a great job that must yep. be. So yay. So I think what we have coming up here is we've got um, the uh, Legal Marijuana Now Party of Minnesota. Legal Marijuana yep. Now. Featuring Susan Stint. She's running for Congress Dix District 4 from this particular party. Her platform is public health, personal freedom, and sustainable communities. Okay. for their cause Happy and for their candidates. And there's Sue. Well, there's Susan. Hi, Sue. Okay. See, so we've got some really great art here in some. Uh, we do. We do, absolutely. So very creative. Very creative. Very creative. Donations accepted. Okay. Yep. Right. Lots to read, lots to look at. For mayor. Okay, Friends of Peace. And we have the U.S. Postal Service. Oh, awesome. And a giant eagle, which of course is the symbol of the U.S. Postal Service. And now coming up behind them is the St. Paul, Paul Music, Music Academy. Academy. Yay, Music Academy. Sing us a song, Music Academy. Maybe we'll be getting some music as they come past. Oh, well, we are going to be getting bubble bubbles for sure. Bubbles are good. That's right. You can never have too many bubbles at a parade. Awesome. Bubbles, bubbles, Those bubbles. are the best bubbles. Those are great bubbles. That's right. Oh, actually, here's our, our music. Fantastic. Here we got some Oh, St. Paul Public Schools. This is St. Paul Public Schools. That's right. With our school bus. And we have a school bus. Our district. All right. Get those backpacks packed. School is around the corner. Don't tell the kids. They're having a good time at the parade. Don't tell the kids. Okay. <laughs> they're going to have to go to school soon. We'll go in. We'll float down the 
the reverse dial for a while yet. <laughs> and here comes the city of Farmington. That's right. We've got the what Farmington ambassadors here. Have. Yep. So this program uh, gives opportunities to local and surrounding communities to support the growth and development of young women and girls in the city of Farmington. And they have sort of Yep, this part of the ambassador tradition, I think. They gain poise, speaking abilities, interview techniques. They volunteer a lot around the community. And they have Farmington due days the third week of June each summer. So there's your third week of June in 2017. Mark your calendars. And now we have Farmington Greg Ryan, who's running for U.S. Congress. Hi, Greg Ryan. Where is Greg Ryan? Greg Ryan. I think he's in the truck. Oh, we've got Lisa Thompson, too, for Minnesota House District 67. And a nice saluting our veterans float by the 4th Congressional District Republican. Yeah, that's a great collection of flags there. So we've now got coming, coming up, up, we have Life Prep, another school, Life That's Prep right. School. That's right, they're a pre-kindergarten through sixth grade charter school in St. Paul. So they put students first, they consider themselves a family in which all students are important. Oh, is this Greg Ryan? Here we go. Greg! Fantastic. Greg, come say hi. Hello, hi. how are you? Good. Are you enjoying the parade today? I'm enjoying it. This is uh, one of many that we're having a whole ton of fun. I'm seeing the people that I've been part of forever. I own a company on University Avenue, so for 32 years, these are my people. Awesome. This is This is where I feel most comfortable, with the people of the 4th Congressional District. Awesome. I am Thank running you. for U.S. Congress. RyanForUs.com. Thank you. Thanks Thank a you, lot. Greg. And right behind Greg was John Broderick. Oh, Who's now we got him right here. St. Paul hey School Board. St. Paul School Board candidate. Uh, John is a longtime teacher and coach at Mechanic Arts at Washington and Coma Park High School. And here we have a gorgeous pickup truck coming along the way, and it's pulling Osceola Royalty. The Osceola Community Fair takes place um, the annual weekend after Labor Day. And so that's going to be Sunday, September 11th, 1 p.m. So that's another thing to add to your parade calendar. I guess. And your community calendar. Maybe we should start playing parade bingo. Oh, look at this. Osceola, they have tractor pulls, truck pulls, live entertainment, and fantastic food. Oh, well. Can't beat that. You absolutely can. Except for the rice cream parade. Well, yeah. <laughs> so. You have to be here first, and then you can go to Osceola. That's right, right. <laughs> So what we have coming up here is CNS Services, LLC. So they started in St. Paul in 2004. Yeah, welcome to this. the neighborhood. So the company is named after the family of two dogs, Candy and Spike. I love Isn't it. Candy and Spike. Yep, they it. provide towing services at a reasonable rate. Their mottos are, uh, get this, no cars left behind. I love it. And everyone needs a tow. It's true. <laughs> I have 10 of them, but I think they meant by the car, right? Sorry. Ah. <laughs> that was really bad. Hi. And more the candy. Family businesses and, oh, use humor. This is I love first it. student. And first student is looking. They're, they're looking for good people to transport our kids to school. So apply today at apply.firstgroupcareers.com. That's apply.firstgroupcareers.com. You can also reach them by kids. calling 651-777-2319. That's right. Imagine driving that. Whew. I, I don't think that they would let I, me drive a bus. Yeah, I've dr driven a trick a pickup truck. That's about as far as it's gotten. Okay. And now we have yeah, I think some public clear. service. Yes, we have a public service organization here, ClearCore, which is a local nonprofit. They, pretend, they protect the potential of kids, potential of children. <laughs> Uh, from LEAD hazards. So they offer free home services uh, where, where um, they can do kind of a lead assessment in your house. So free testing for kids six and under and pregnant women. And now we have the Karen 
Organization of Minnesota, another one of our wonderful ethnic organizations. That's right. And those uh, those costumes that you saw were made by Karen Weavers. They were oh, first a social fabulous. services agent to be a, uh, to establish that was established for Karen refugees from Burma. And here we have Cottage Grove, Minnesota. Cottage Grove, the Strawberry Fest ambassadors. Woo! And these girls are keeping time and dancing too. They are. Awesome. That's it, go strawberries, now that's dancing strawberries. Dancing strawberries, that's love right. and royalty. And now we have Lena Bugs. Yep, Lena Bugs, she's a Ramsey County Soil and Water District Supervisor, so that's what she's running for. So here's someone else to look at for, uh, for August 9th. There we go. Yep, she Member. protects our watersheds, works with landowners to determine policy for conservation now and into the, f the future. She is poised and ready to work for you. Oh, fantastic, Jan. It's great to have you back. It. Oh, no, I'm going to stand up. And Alexis. Jan, is Miss how are you? Minnesota for 2016. Look at that smile on that way. You were driving your own truck. We I didn't get a chance to talk to you when you went through before. Alexis is an eighth grader from Oak Leds Junior High. She wants to be an award-winning film producer. And she's also an avid volunteer in the community. Oh. Darn straight. Darn straight. Well, thanks for swinging back past. What we've got in front of us uh, right now is St. Paul Promise Neighborhood. They're an education initiative that brings together families, schools, and community to change the odds for children in Frogtown Rondo, Summit University Neighborhoods of St. Paul. They bring over 80 community partners together to provide academic and family support for children at 18 early learning child care centers and four elementary schools around Look at the these fabulous cars the we've got. This is the exclusive club, car club you said? Boy, look at the tires. These are not your ordinary hubcaps, folks. I'd say these cars are all dressed up. I'd say that they're, fi they're finely dressed. They are finely dressed. And they're dressed. accessorized. You know, I live by the state fairground, so I get a front row seat for all the car shows. It's fantastic. And these should have their own car show. These are great looking cars. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. Well, even look at all the different um, hubcaps and. Oh yeah. And the, 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 are the, the details down to and the detail what the windshield wipers fabulous. look like and the, the amount of chrome on, on the cars. Of these is awesome. You don't see as much anymore. And the fancy paint jobs. Yep. And the grill on the front. Yep. The special I lights. I don't know if they do their own work or if they have a specialty shop that they work with, but I'm telling you, these cars are you know, fantastic. It would be great if they, they could give us a light show right now, you know, like flashing their headlights and. Yep. These are totally awesome cars. And each one also has its special theme music. They do, and we which have I love about a that. white car coming up. Look at that, white hubcaps and white wheel trim. Wow. Okay, so you wouldn't want to drive that car in Minnesota Springs. That would not be the car to drive in Minnesota Springs. You gotta have to get all the potholes in well, the city. I'm just uh, thinking of the yeah, mud we have splatter. to get all, all the roads prepared that before these cars would come out, some problems which they're working on, time. which I appreciate. Hey, folks. Great cars. That's right. How fun. Car clubs are great fun. Oh, and we have got candy being distributed. That's right. I was just thinking, you know, looking at those cars, I was just thinking about my, my very first car, which my brother helped set up and tripped out. So I think what we have coming up now is our St. Paul Winter Carnival representatives. So it looks like we have our Order of the Royal Guard. Wow. That's right. You know, St. Paul Winter Carnival is celebrating our 100th year. It's our very yep, own. They're protecting King Boreas and the Queen of the Snows. And this is the order of the Royal Guard. 100 years great. of protection. Look at that. They protect King Boreas and the That's Queen right. of the Snows. If you're interested in becoming a King's Guard, check out royalguards.org for more information. That's royal royalguards.org. If you want to get involved. 
Yep, right behind them is our 2016 St. Paul Winter Carnival Junior Royalty. We Princess have 2016 of the snow, Lindsay. Princess of the Snow, Lindsay. Ice Queen, so and Queen Sophia, of the Snow, and Queen of the Sienna. Snow. Mm -hmm. That's right. Absolutely. And Beautiful Senior job, girls. Royal Colt. That's right. Sponsored by Joe Bennett. Absolutely. And Kendall Ace Hardware. Mm -hmm. And Lou, the photo guy. Boy, Senior. look around here. Senior this Royalty. Is gorgeous. Look at all the families out here still. I think we have more people than we had before. We're going hey to see folks. if we can capture some That's of the right. royalty and fabulous people. Queen of Snows. Oh, Queen of Snows. That's who we have here. Alyssa Sagavis. Who's going to be, yep. Kim, King Boreas. We've got our princess of the Northwind, Shannon Sherup. Guard Rusty. Okay, okay. And we've got a great, great Mustang. That is yeah, just an awesome some paint nice job cars. on that. Yeah. We've got our Prince of the East Wind, Dewey Tesmer. Our Princess of the East Wind, Chelsea. Chelsea Bollier. She's from the Rice Street Festival. Awesome. She's a Rice Street girl. Rice Street. Yeah. We've Rice got Street our girls. Prince of the West Wind, Scott Oyen. Awesome. <laughs> and our princess, Alyssa <laughs> Ortiz. And we've got the little uh, cow. Yeah. And then we've got our Prince of the South Wind, Joe Bennett. Awesome. <laughs> ole, ole, ole. That child has a mustache. And our, that's his son, Max, and that's our princess, Peggy. Peggy's also a former Rice Street queen. Yay! Oh, here come. And here are the nasty Vulcans. No, they're not nasty. No, I have the Vulcans. Right, you take over. I'm the true prime, though. Uh, Duke of Clinker. The true prime of the St. Paul Winter Carnival, no, the Duke of Clinker. Vulcans. How are you? That's what they can see. <laughs> so the Vulcans, check, yep, here check. they are. We've got all of them, here. actually, right here. So. Right of our table. You guys rock. You did a little too good of a job, though, with this heat. You want to watch that next year, OK? Yeah, Torch we are on. doing a great job, my Vulcans and I. We've chased Boreas back to Olympus, and he's going to be there a long time at this rate. Can, can he come back at least for Christmas? Oh, I don't know if we can make it for Christmas. Yeah, we start partying around Thanksgiving. OK, fine, whatever. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Here St. Jules. Paul Police. That's right. And that's the end of our lovely parade. And we thank you for joining us here for the Rice Street Parade. Jules, this was really wonderful. I hope that everyone comes down to Rice Street and, and checks out the businesses that we saw on the parade, has a chance to attend some of these really terrific community festivals. So thanks again, folks. Have a great day. Stay thanks cool. for coming to the Rice Street Parade. Thanks for coming to the Rice Street Parade. Thanks so much. Rice Street Parade. Yay. Get a great time.